Eating around the retro town. Koero Kawagoe. 15 recommendations. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. Today, we will eat around Koedo Kawagoe. We'll show you 15 stores, such as stores with long histories and the newest stores. There will be lots of useful information on sightseeing, so stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Kawagoe is located in Saitama Prefecture, which is right next to Tokyo. Here we are at Hon Kawagoe Station. FYI, you can come here without transferring from Seibu Shinjuku Station. It takes about 45 minutes by train to Hon Kawagoe Station. Okay, let's go to our destination today. We'll walk for about 10 minutes from Hon Kawagoe Station. Here we are! This is where we'll introduce today. Koedo Kawagoe. There are lots of historical buildings on the street, and it has a Japanese retro atmosphere. It's a popular town visited by more than 7 million tourists every year. At the center of the town, there's Poki no Kane, which is a symbol of Koedo Kawagoe. Well, let's go and eat! First, We'll introduce this store, Nakaichi Honten. It's a bonito flag specialty store which has a history of over 150 years. This is the most popular store in Koero Kawagoe, so you should come at 12 o'clock when the store opens. At this store, you can eat onigiri grilled with charcoal. After grilling onigiri coated with soy sauce, they put bonito flakes and done! The smell of bonito flakes and soy sauce is great! There's dashi in soy sauce, so it has a stronger taste than it looks. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. They use koshi hikari, so the rice has sweetness. This onigiri really makes you feel Japan. The next store is located at the far back of a narrow street. This one, Kawagoe Baum. It's a Baum Kuhin specialty store which just opened in July 2022. At this store, you can eat freshly cut Baum Kuhin with many kinds of toppings. Today, we'll try this very popular sweet. This is Baum Brulee, Baum Kuchen topped with sugar and seared. The slightly burnt sugar smells sweet. Inside, there's custard cream. The custard cream is sweet and has a thick flavor of eggs. The bitterness and the texture of burnt sugar adds a good accent to it. The Baum Kuchen has a rich flavor of butter. This fluffy, moist texture is irresistible. The next store we'll introduce is Imoya Shodai Senjiro. It's a sweet potato sweet specialty store run by a Japanese sweet store with a history of. 85 years. They have many kinds of sweets and will try the soft serve ice cream, which is especially popular. The soft serve ice cream is sweet potato flavored and is topped with sweet potato chips and sweet potato yokan, sweet bean jelly. This soft serve ice cream is so cute! The sweet potato chips are crispy. I like the texture. It has a natural sweetness. The soft serve ice cream has a rich flavor of sweet potato. Smooth and creamy. 
By the way, you can top it with cheese cream or caramel cream. We chose the caramel cream. The slight bitterness brings out the flavor of this ice cream. Sweet potato yokan is sweet and delicious. It's a great sweet for sweet potato fans. The next store is right beneath Tokinokane, Kanon. At this store, we'll try takosen with freshly baked akashiyaki. Top it with sauce and mayonnaise, and ta-da! The rice cracker is made with shrimp, so you can enjoy texture like snacks. To eat, you break akashiyaki. Akashiyaki is creamy and has the flavor of dashi. The thick flavor of sauce and mayonnaise is awesome! The next door is this one. Kasho Umon Ichibangai Branch. At this store, we'll try the very popular kawagoe representing manju, which has been sold for over 25 years. The outside is made with sticky rice and Japanese yam. The texture is moist and chewy. On the inside, there's anko and sweet potato. Anko has less sugar, so the sweetness is mild. The texture of sweet potato adds a good accent. The next store is Mio Kazalo. You can buy ham and sausages made with kawagoe born black pork. They have many takeaway items too. Let's try the steamed pork bun. This pork bun has charcoal in it, so the bun is black. Although it doesn't taste like charcoal. The bun is moist and fluffy. The pork inside is seasoned with a thick flavor. It also has the sweetness of shiitake mushroom and onion. Delicious! The next store is Mameya Koedo Kawagoe Branch. It's a bean specialty store which opened in 2001. We'll have this hot sandwich with their popular beans. The bread is crispy on the outside and moist on the inside. Let's see the inside. On the inside, there's anko and melting butter, which is made in Hokkaido. The butter is soaked in the bread. Very yummy! Anko has a strong sweetness. This sweet hot sandwich makes me very happy. The next store we'll introduce is Kingyote. It's a new store which opened in March 2022. There's cute goldfish at the fancy store. Here, you can have cute dishes that look like goldfish. We chose taiyaki, which is shaped like a goldfish. This taiyaki has okonomiyaki ingredients on the inside. The pork has fat and is juicy. It has a strong flavor of sauce and mayonnaise. I love the crispy texture of the cabbage. The next is Kasho Umon Tokinokane Branch. It is run by the same company that runs the store we introduced earlier. And we'll have soft serve ice cream you can eat only here at this store. This is soft serve ice cream of purple sweet potato and milk flavor mixed. It looks so cute and fancy. This heart-shaped snack is monaka, baked sticky rice. It's crispy and matches well with the ice cream. The ice cream has a strong flavor of sweet potato and also has a sweetness of milk. It's cute but tastes authentic. The next store is Miffy Kurano Kitchen and Bakery. It's a new store which opened in September 2022. They have many cute Miffy items, and 
and we'll try two kinds of bread which you can only eat at this store. First, this cube-shaped bread. Look, it has Miffy printed on. Cute! The bread is moist. Inside, there's sweet potato cream. The sweet potato cream is sweet and creamy and really matches the bread. The black sesame is a good accent. Next, bread that's shaped like Miffy's face. The color is white and looks so much like Miffy. I feel sorry to eat you, Miffy. Between the bread, there's a croquette of purple sweet potato. It has a slight sweetness of sweet potato. It is seasoned with sauce, so it tastes stronger than it looks. This bread is very filling. Next, we'll introduce Arai Takehira Shoten. It's a miso specialty store with a history of over 70 years. We'll try dumpling mochi with their special original miso. The grilled dumpling is savory and has a nice smell of miso. I recommend you come before noon because it is often sold out after noon. The dumpling made with sticky rice is chewy. I love the texture. And the sweet miso is addictive. The next door is in Hatago Koedoya. This building has a hotel and food court all together. We'll show you two stores from this building. First, let us introduce Mrs. Hamburger. You can have the hamburger that's been coming up a lot on SNS here. The hamburger is topped over the fried potatoes. So cute! The fried potatoes are thin, and you can enjoy the crispy texture. You can choose four kinds of flavor out of the six kinds. It is small and cute, but they use Japanese beef, so it tastes authentic. The next store we'll show you is a curry specialty store, Negombo Sanjusan. It's a curry specialty store which opened in 2020. We'll have a curry that's hot on SNS. The rice is topped with kima curry and an egg yolk. We also ordered cheese. The curry is in a cup, so cute. Once you break the yolk, mix with the curry and eat. The kima curry has a flavor of spice and tastes authentic. The cheese and yolk are creamy. It has lots of minced pork, so it's juicy. And the rice is turmeric rice, so the smell is nice. The next store is Kawagoe Pudding. It's a store which opened two years ago and is so popular that people make waiting lines during the weekends. Here, we'll try their most popular pudding. The pudding is topped with soft-serve ice cream and sweet potato paste. It also has sweet potato chips, and it's so cute! The sweet potato chips are crunchy and go perfectly with the soft-serve ice cream. The sweet potato paste has the right sweetness. It makes the ice cream taste even more delicious. The pudding also tastes like sweet potato. On the bottom, there's chopped sweet potatoes, so you can enjoy many kinds of textures. The last door is this one, Unagi Denbe. It's an eel dish specialty store which opened in November 2021. Here, you can have freshly grilled eel that's skewered on sticks. But today, we are having unameshi which is rice topped with eel. Ooh, the eel grilled with charcoal fire smells wonderful. 
let's sprinkle some Japanese pepper and eat. The refreshing smell of Japanese pepper and the sweet smell of the eel is awesome. The size is perfect, great for eating around. The eel is crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. It has fat, so it melts in my mouth. The rice soaked with sweet sauce is so delicious. Charcoal fire grilled eel is terrific. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!